Welcome to Pulse for Friday, April 5th, 2024. Another landmark case in crypto starts this week, Abraham Eisenberg, and it could entirely change how the feds view crypto. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pulse for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. In a landmark case that's capturing the attention of the DeFi world, Abraham Eisenberg stands trial this week in New York, accused of manipulating mango markets to extract $110 million. At the heart of Eisenberg's defense is the argument that he merely took advantage of a coding loophole, putting the DeFi principle of code is law to the test. He contends that his actions were within the rules defined by the platform's code, challenging the traditional boundaries of legal and illegal activities in the DeFi sector. This trial is more than just a legal battle. It's a clash between the anarchist ethos of the crypto community and the government's Choke Point 2.0 campaign, aimed at reining in the largely unregulated world of digital currencies. Eisenberg's actions, though possibly unethical, were technically within the rules set by the platform's code. But do these actions constitute a crime? Normally, I'd say that the feds always win at trial, but Jeff Roberts, finance and crypto editor at Fortune magazine, finds the code is law defense fascinating, tweeting, this code is law defense is fascinating and might just work. Prosecutors allege Eisenberg used two anonymous accounts to inflate the value of Mango Markets futures contracts by 1,300% in just 20 minutes, allowing him to borrow $110 million in cryptocurrencies with no intention of repaying. This case raises a critical question. Does the absence of explicit regulations in a DeFi protocol automatically legalize an activity? Additionally, does the fact that Eisenberg returned $67 million back to Mango unprompted indicate that he was acting in good faith in the ecosystem? As the trial unfolds, it's not just Eisenberg's fate that hangs in the balance. The outcome could set a precedent for how DeFi platforms are regulated and whether the ethos of code is law can stand up to legal scrutiny. The crypto community watches with bated breath, knowing that the verdict could reshape the future of decentralized finance. 